In our lifetime, we have all experienced a moment where we reached a breaking point. It was a hot summer day at Trinity Catholic High School in Stamford, Connecticut, as sophomore Dylan Dane was getting prepared for another day of football practice. His main position is linebacker, and practicing under the heat will always make a player very cranky. So the point of the drill was we were supposed to just come up and wrap tackle. But I kind of let that slip through my head. So I went up to him and I laid him out as hard as I could. I was all hyped. The defense was all hyped. But my coach, the offensive coordinator, was not hyped. He came up to me, started yelling at me for hitting his running back. And I was all confused, yelling back at him, saying, what am I supposed to do? This is football. I'm supposed to hit him. But he wasn't too happy about that and made me start running laps. So imagine this. You're on defense. You absolutely ramsack the offensive player during practice. And you get all pumped up until the moment where the coach tells you, you gotta run laps because that is not exactly what I want you to do. How would you feel about it? This is what Dylan reacted to that. And I completely lost it, said, what am I supposed to do? This is football, we're supposed to hit people. And um, he came back with another comment, in which led to me just ultimately saying, shut up coach, to the tip of my legs, as loud as I could. And everyone in practice could hear it. It was very blatant and obvious. The head coach then comes up to me, like starts yelling at me and kicks me out of practice. It was the most embarrassing moment of my football career. Dylan's teammate, TJ Stolzenberg, was eyewitness to this heated up moment between his teammate and the head coach. I don't blame the kid. He, he, he was in an instinct moment, you know? But the thing he did that kind of got a little interesting was when he kind of went back at the coach. That was the different thing. Uh, coach is coach, you know, and that's where adrenaline kind of carried over. And he said some things and he ran some laps, but at the end of the day, probably said one thing too many. And coach kicked him out of practice. Respected like coach, out Daniel Yevon, who has been coaching for 20 years, has coached Good a job. lot of Good players. He job. never yeah. expected yeah. anyone to talk in. back to him which is why he was so shocked finals. that a player right. such as Here Dylan would erupt to him. Have a great day. Here is what he had to All say right. about it. Let's do it. Break. Words go against the team and especially me. you got to follow the rules. The problem with kids today is they have no respect. You know, they grow up in a world full of video games and they think they could do whatever they like. So when this guy came up to me and told me to shut up after he totally went against what I told him what to do, my first rule was to pick him up by his neck and throw him against the wall. In the end, Dylan learned a valuable lesson, and this is what he said to those other players who will experience the same kind of motion. Make sure that you just follow the coach's rules. Sometimes you're not going to like what they say, but you're just going to have to hear them out, keep your mouth shut, and keep going on. To go back to the moment of reaching a breaking point, we all need to learn that under certain circumstances, you can't let your emotions get the best of you, no matter what situation occurs. This is James Yevon, Sacred Heart Sports Media, Stamford, Connecticut.